Hi there, Casey here with another Fusion Online video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about Studio Dynamics and how to care for your Cadillac. Now you've seen us care for the reformer and the chair and the ladder barrel and here with the Cadillac there's uh, obviously more moving parts so there's extra places that you're going to need to check out to make sure that you're maintaining this piece of equipment for a lifetime and also to ensure safety for your clients when they're working on it. So again what we like to do uh, to clean the vinyl on the Cadillac is we have our water bottle of water and we add in eight to ten drops of the tea tree oil into it. it has antibacterial, antimicrobial properties, but um, it's also not going to be very aggravating to the senses. There's a lots of clients that have issues with um, bleach allergies and they can't smell Lysol, so it's a really nice benign but effective cleaner that won't ruin the vinyl. Now, of course, you want to wipe down all of the surfaces, um, all the vinyl surfaces between each and every client, um, but you also want to wipe off the roll down bar, right? Lots of hands touch this. Um, you know, during cold and flu season, especially, you want to be very, very cognizant that between each and every use that this is cleaned. Same thing with the push through bar. You really want to make sure that this is nice and clean and also the sides, because we use the sides of the push through bar just as much and also feet go on here. So we want to make sure that that's taken care of. Now uh, with the nice little brush, you want to go into all the moving parts and definitely clear any dust out from there. You always want to check either if you have a safety chain or um, this nylon rope, you always want to make sure that this guy is very, very secure. This is meant to keep your you and your client safe. So you want to make sure that nothing is, um, uh, nothing's kind of tearing or peeling away. You want to always keep this in top, top condition. Now, with springs, what you always want to look for is the wear and tear right at the top of the springs. This is the part of the spring that gets so much torque in use. So you want to make sure that that's nice and solid and that there's no um, compromised areas. Same thing at the bottom of it. You also want to check your rings of your springs. And then you want to check your springs themselves, making sure that they open and close nice and evenly. And then also, areas that you want to check are all of these rings that are attached here. So I'll show you that. So these attachments, again, we want to be really, really careful that there's no compromise in the metal here because, again, we have tons of loaded springs off of these. So you, if you do start to see any little divots happen in this uh, metal, you want to replace these. Now, uh, let's see. Also, crossbars. This top of your crossbar can get so dirty, right? So dusty. And the crossbar here won't slide on these with ease and it can get very gunked up in the center of these. Um, so you want to make sure that you're wiping this metal part down. You really want to keep this nice and easy so that you have an ease of transition when you're moving the crossbar here. You also want to check the metal hooks on there. And again, you always want to test your equipment, make sure that everything's nice and secure, especially the fuzzies when people are going to be hanging upside down. And always remember too that when your clients are doing any of their hanging exercises, you always want to counter their weight with yours. So if they're hanging off the edge of the Cadillac, you want to make sure that you're weighting one end of it because these um, uh, some of the thinner Cadillacs, the more classical Cadillacs, can actually be a bit top heavy and very narrow. So they have a little bit um, more of a chance to tip. But if you have a nice wider base, you have less of a chance for that, but you still always, always exercise caution. One last thing about exercising caution, because everything is so, um, is a raw spring without a pulley system uh, changing it, 
you always want to be very, very careful when you either put the strap on the client's feet or hands to say, do you have this? Does that feel secure? Because if it doesn't, there's always a chance for it to recoil. Also with the roll down bar, you want to always give the client the roll down bar and say, do you have this? But especially the push through bar. That is one of the more dangerous areas of the Cadillac. And so when you, it is sprung either from below or above, you always want to ask your clients, do you have the bar? And do you have a good grip? And then you always let them know, okay, I'm going to let go now. And you tell them that you have to have that conversation when they give you the bar, that you have it too. All right, that's a little bit of information about your Cadillac. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.